What is up, everybody? Hope you're doing well today. Let's make sure all systems are a go here. It seems like it is. I'll say OBS is being really weird. <clears throat> so I'm relying on YouTube to make sure we're all good, which I think we are. I think we are. It's so weird. OBS is not actually showing me the scene that's going on. So I'm going to assume we're connected. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday. What am I talking about? I think I got a little bit of heat stroke. Sweet. So we're back with some Red Dead Redemption 1. Hey, Monkberry. What food did I get ordered? Already ate it? We had some Thai food tonight. It was delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we went to a museum. It was pretty sweet, actually. I didn't realize it was here. It's an old... We went to an old estate. It was built in the early 1800s, and there was an inventory taken of all the items within this state around 1830, and most of those items were still there. I've got some uh, photos on my community, on a community post, but it was pretty cool. It gave me kind of Red Dead vibes, although these things were about 50 years older. Some of those things would still uh, still be there. It was a super, super rich guy, Edward Uniac. But yeah, it was pretty, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So I'll be real with you. OBS is broken. But everything's working, so we'll go with that. Y'all can see the game. I see it, it within YouTube. We don't need OBS, though. We got each other. When I say it's broken, I changed to the scene. It just didn't reflect what it is. But it seems to be all systems going here. We are currently in Mexico. Just kind of recap. Uh, we got over to Mexico. We're doing some missions for the government. It's pretty clear that the government in Mexico is completely corrupt and evil and killing the real people. I'll even go on camera here in a bit. I got my Red Dead Redemption lighting. And this dude. We'll, we'll go see this dude for a bit. See what's up. But yeah, we're going to see... Try to get Javier. And I have a mission. That mission is to avoid boobs. Because there is a scene with boobs upcoming. FYI. I don't I don't know where it is, when it is, but there's boobs. For lack of a better word. I mean there is better words I could use. There is mature content. But I am going to do my best to just skip the cutscene. I think there's some noises kind of predicating it that you can hear before. I think. I just don't remember it. I haven't played any more than the first... Can I find a good place to camp? What about... I don't know if there's enough room right here. I like that camp, like, no, you cannot camp noise. Ah, uh, gut noodles, gut noodles. Not a relatable mission, that's fair. <laughs> the food is delicious, yeah, it, it was. We had noodles, I had uh, General Taracha. It's like a crispy chicken. Oh my gosh. What? What clip did I upload to the Xbox network? For the love of heaven, just let me camp. Just let me camp. Somewhere. I mean, I do have a horse. This looks like a perfect spot to have a camp. What do you think, camp? <laughs> Yes. But yeah, we had some Thai food. It was so hot here today. That museum was so hot. Because again, it's an old estate. It never got electricity until the government bought that estate. Um, I got to see a dumbwaiter. I'm not sure if you know what a dumbwaiter is. Um, you most likely do. Well, some of you might. Some of you might not. But it's like 
an old school elevator um, that was originally operated by weights, but then there, in this one, there was a manual aspect added to it where you just pull it up and down, and they would bring the food up to the kitchen via this dumb waiter. It's pretty cool, actually. We had a great time. It's me, my wife, and one of her friends. And the property, you know, it's a shame because the property was really nice, but you could see how it could be so much nicer. And there's just not funding for it. When I say nicer, um, in the in the heyday of the 1800s, this place had like magnificent gardens. Now it's just really a well manicured lawn with a whole bunch of trees. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So we're gonna see Louise. What well, what time am I at now? 5 a.m. and 2 p.m. Oh, because I'm at 5. Okay. There's not really a good way to skip time in these ones. Because in GTA 5, they added the skip time option. Just because he was slow getting to your food doesn't mean you need to call the dumb waiter. That's pretty great. <laughs> the more advanced ones were called smart waiters. As technology moved up. I think the dumb, does the dumb come from the the weight, the weights? Because I think dumb, there was weights associated with it. And you think uh, dumb, I think dumbbells. Maybe I'm wrong. The meaning of the word dumb in terms of dumbbells, I'm not sure. Because dumb just doesn't mean slow, stupid, anything like that. Like, I mean, that is one meaning of it. But it does have another meaning from what I understand. We'll kill a little bit of time here. Let's go. Where are we here? I don't know. Let's go over here. What could go wrong in that map spot with a cougar? Dumb ca Yes, can mean silent or mute. Absolutely, but... It's generally not used nowadays. I, I don't know if I'd call someone who's mute as be like, oh, they're just dumb. I'm sure that wouldn't fly too well. Let's go. Maybe it does though, I'm not I'm not sure. Come. Let's see here. Is there supposed to be like a cougar around here? Is this a cougar resting place? Come on. We'll ride around for a bit while we're waiting for this event to... ...to start happening. This is such a faster paced game than Red did too. Like even the speed that these guys are moving, they're not... You don't find many of the NPCs just move at a, a chill rate. That looks like a herb I could grab, but no, it's not. You know what? We got some time. Let's, uh... I don't know what I'm uploading best. Already are one secrets. Let's see if we can find some Easter eggs in here. Let's see here. Because I know there's a Sasquatch, but maybe that's in On Dead Nightmare. Just taking a little gander here. Oh, Johnny boy, don't do that. You know what? I could go buy some weapons. Chupa Rosa, is that? Yeah, that's pretty much the pumping spot. Let's, uh, let's head down to Chupa Rosa for a bit. Get a couple upgrades, see what's happening in town. And when I say the pace, like look how fast we can get around. We can fast travel from anywhere pretty much to anywhere. Where in Red Dead, it's just going to be from like fast travel location to fast travel location. I think that's a critical difference in the gameplay loop. Honestly, it really does. Now, keep in mind, this is the... On PS4 when it was released, it was on 640p. It didn't... It still looked good. 
But in hindsight, you know, it's um, not as advanced as the Xbox One version that got updated. So Rockstar didn't really do much. Xbox did a bunch of work. Hey, amigo. To, yes, I do. Um, did all this work to re upscale it. So you can play this in 4K now and such. It fixed up a number of the textures and things like that. So this is the best version outside of like Xenia that you can play right now. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good Let's money. do it. All right. You best be ready to pay up. Could do some of the bounties. I haven't tried any of the bounties in this yet. It does look really good for though for being 13 years old, eh? Running to, sir. This man has some stamina. I wouldn't be running like that in Mexico. What? I must not have been paying attention. <laughs> Let's go get a bounty. I thought I was supposed to come with him. Maybe I wasn't. A saloon in Chupa Rosa? I let's find out. But man, this would look nice with our Red Dead 2's textures. Okay, let's go see if we can buy. No, I'll get in trouble if I uh, kill a local goat. I'm sure. Hello, sir. Okay. Treasure map. I got a treasure map I gotta get. Oh, so you buy everything here. You buy the horses. I mean, I could get a new horse. I don't even know what type of horse I have. The Tursk is pretty rough, though. Oh, snap! Hi! <laughs> That's probably it. Let me see. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Andale, qué tal? Todo bien, no? That's what that is. Oh yes, good, good. May I take a look? Is there anything cool to buy? So can you actually buy guns from this cat? No, just um. Yeah. Just damn, but what type of horse do I have, though? Oh, no, he don't come in here? What is that? Is that a place I can rest? Oh, night watch job. Nah, I want to do a bounty. I didn't actually realize my camera was on. But it was. I usually keep the thing shut. Thank you for letting me know. I couldn't really see much in OBS. I didn't see it in the previous uh, section. What do we got there? These events in town are hilarious. Let's do this... At Oh shit. Okay. What? John, can you jump that? John, can you even get out Chupa Rosa? Let's go get a bounty target. Oh, come on.
Okay, we're hoofing it. Yo, Rio, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a good, uh, good Sunday, my man. Hey, I got good news. I got myself a job interview on Tuesday. I'm pretty pumped up. Learning experience, technical lead is the job. So, fingers crossed. Wait, is that even a bounty target? No, he's just a bad man. Shit, that was a terrible idea. Oh, no! No! I love how they're like, you're the wrong... Oh, I thought he was like, you're the wrong guy. Oh, come on! I want to get in my horse. I'm using this cover. Okay, let's get away from him so we don't pick him up. Oh, man. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> now we know what we're doing. Thank you, my man. Yeah. How the fuck do I get up here, though? Take a look at the map here. Man, I think it was on the other side. This man just gonna tom me from up there. That was a rough old start. Yeah, it's looking like it's up there. We'll try to take him in alive though. Is it? Yeah, it must be coming up and around here. Okay, yeah. this man <laughs> that was easy I appreciate that man you and your girlfriend are both job searching stressful but exciting to look ahead absolutely what kind of work you looking to do Monkberry Oh, come on, horse. You comfortable there? Okay. Stop doing that! <laughs> Bye. Oh, a lot more Spanish. Well, I mean, especially in Mexico, right? I'm guessing my horse won't come up here, so... I'll just pick him up. Take him to jail. Hey! Look at this guy. My horse runs off. I'm trying to take the bounty. No, be so much more Spanish. Because, I mean, currently... We're in uh, Mexico. So it's going to be all Spanish down there. Come on, John, get a jog on, my dude. This is some sick cardio, by the way. Jogging with the guys, like, over your shoulders. Oh, finally, almost there. I can execute him right outside the sheriff's office, but no. 
John's coming down to Mexico committing some war crimes. Good job, Johnny boy. Okay, we'll turn the camera off here. Bounty's alive. Yeah, we got one. What's in here? Can I trouble you for a minute? What's this guy have to say? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No new news. Um, to, to wait for Tuesday to kind of see if there's any announcement with Red Dead Online. Because it being extended for a week's kind of weird. That said, it might not be till August, if anything. Because Colin Moriarty said it might come in August. Or as soon as August, but who knows? We'll hopefully find out pretty soon. I think it's happening, though. I think it is. It's tough to not think it is with all the stuff kind of going down with it. Good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. Devil making work for idle hands. What? Now, listen, friend. The Wild West was in the States and used to be Mexico. Honestly, yeah, you're not right, Jason. Welcome to the stream, my dude. There's some fighting broken out here. It seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? Oh, you Americans are all the same. Obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Names Tollets, sir. Uriah Tollets. Know of me in Uriah toilets? How much? Plenty, sir. Plenty. Uh, you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell. What? <laughs> well, that's a fine fellow. All right. So my wife's doing her first kind of full story playthrough of Red Dead 2. Funny story, though, because I play with mods a lot, and I got my own computer, like, a year and a half or two years ago. Prior to that, I was using her computer to mess around with mods with Red Dead. I took them all off, or so I thought. We're looking at the map, and, and she's like, is this house for sale? I'm like, what is that? And there's all sorts of properties for sale on the map. I definitely didn't take all the mods off. I had to get the other ones off today. She's enjoying it, though. She's on a tear in gaming. She's beat the last two Jedi games. She just started chapter 3 in a Red Dead. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I don't think it's that. He talked about no... Uh, what the place is called? Noka... Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. Yo, Grizzly. How you doing, buddy? The Rock Farmer, yeah? Yeah. We'll take the tracks. How you doing, my man? Wait, look, will the tracks take me there in an efficient manner before I do that? Oh, yeah. Uh, for a little bit. See, I want the ragdoll physics, though, from Red Dead 2 if they do a remake. Like, I want to wipe the hell out. Because there's not, like, serious, like, ragdoll physics in this. I think that's, uh, the Euphoria engine that they used. On top of Rage. Because it's not just, like, Rage. They have uh, a couple other technologies in there. And Euphoria is one of them. That color is so weird looking to me. It almost looks like it's snow. Right on, man. Right on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't want my horse to throw me. We'll do this little side mission, though. 
And, you know, after we get through this, we'll probably do One Dead Nightmare as well. Maybe play some Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Which had some good things going. I'll say, I like their, um, in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer, they had not as many levels. There's only 50 levels, however, they had a prestige system. Which meant, okay, you get to level 50. Um, you can do a prestige, which you lose your weapons, you lose a bunch of stuff, you keep some things. But you get, like, a special mount. And then you're at, like, you know, prestige level 2, and you do that up to 4 levels. I kind of like the idea of that, because... If you think about that, there was four of them in Red Dead Redemption 1. That's 200 levels of prestige. Red Dead Online only has, really, 100 levels of meaning, although there are the roles and they're leveling up. Like, I don't know, something to spice it up a little bit? Maybe you lose all your money. Can I just go up through there, or no? Oh, no! Son of a bitch! Sit down, gringo. I speak some English. Have a little chat, why not? Big car on the desert, and an abandoned village called Torquemada. The rebel has taken it over, and they were used in it as a fortress. Agenda was curious and sent soldiers out there with the orders to take them over. No one person was left alive. Any survivor were round up and torn off the bed. Well, that was fun, folks. That's quite a tale. Oh, shit. Gentlemen, I'm sorry. Now, what were we doing? Oh, we're not even at. The place we need to go. <laughs> Come on, horse. The violence is over. Did he steal my horse? Okay, here we go. Watch it be him be honest. That would have been hilarious. See that? Who? I don't know. Is that my horse? Are they both my horse? <laughs> You're my horse. You're my horse. You're all my horse. We'll do this one. You know, why am I even riding? Because I'm almost there. We'll ride. We'll ride. We'll enjoy the landscape. Man, she's a toasty one here. Holy smokes. Let's go. Should be able to shoot across the desert here. Is this the mission is... Oh, uh, you know what? Okay. I guess we're doing this. How small is that man? No wonder he needs my help. times thank you for joining by the way make sure to give that like button a little bit of smash a little bit of a love I feel there's one of them over here
What's this? Is that fire bottles? You know what? We're just gonna start woofing these. We got some jokers over here too. Killed some of my own man, but you know that's the price I'm willing to pay. A lot of rebels here. I want more of those fire bottles, though. That's that's my number one priority. Maybe living should be. Nice. We'll move it on up a little bit though. guys aren't too bad. Can I shoot his gun over his Oh, I didn't shoot his gun over his hand, though. We got a couple of these jokers left. Wait, I have a sniper, don't I? Doesn't this thing have a scope? I swore I had a snipe. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, is that another? Is that our guy? Is that all the ammo had for it? Oh, that is a bummer. Guys can't take out this one dude. That should be all of them. You gentlemen can celebrate. The rebels have been dispatched, I think. Maybe there's more, I don't know. Let's take a little gander through town here. Is there any more on my map? Oh, it says destination there. Let's Like, I don't know what's trying to tell me. Are they all destinations? Hmm. I mean, they're all dead. Maybe, maybe it's done? I don't know. I'm gonna go over to this purple question mark though and see what happens. Yes, 
Maybe that was it for that. Okay. Well, we did our good deed. Let's get out of here. So what do we got here? I feel this mission's kind of buggered. Because, am I going crazy? None of the other missions that are on my map are actually there. Hold on, I'm gonna kill myself. That's the way to do it. Go for a swim, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, something was broken there. I think. Where are my missions at, though? Okay, see, now we get the map back up. Yeah, that was one of his. Or no, it wasn't. It was right here. So we'll go set up a camp. Yeah, that was weird, though. Destination, let's go to a waypoint. She is warm today, though, boys and girls. Okay, let's. Go to the. Come back between. Man, this stuff is killing me. Oh, okay. Well, I think we're close, though. Am I in the right friggin. Yeah, I'm in the right place. What's your problem, partner? John running into people. Hola. John speaking Spanish. Uh, hola. Hola. New weaponry. Oh, dude's got a picture of himself up there. Hola. 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 My mistake, mister. Get out there. So it's not right at that D. But it was like... I did get a message down here. Like, what time is it now? Okay, it's a little after, uh, six. Yeah. Uh, si. Hola. John Spanish. Hola. Si. Hola. Buenas. Uh, hola. Hola, senor. Uh, hola. Oh, my God. Hola. What a guy. Enjoy the day, mister. Hola. Como esta? Yeah. Er, uh, si. Hola. El hombre, he, he steal my horse. Please, ayúdame. Oh, an hombre stole this horse? 
Well, I don't think we have the right horse for the job, first and foremost. No, you can figure out your horse problems, sir. I got my own issues. Buenas. My god, time's moving slow. <laughs> That's not going to work, John. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to turn to seven. That is one thing they do need, though. That's, if I'm not mistaken... They need like a, uh, what the hell is it, time skip system. Oh yeah, Grizzly, I saw a video on that where he's like, you can make a man out of me. Okay, is it se not seven yet? John, chuck a little fire bottle in there. Get things exciting. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo está usted? Uh, hola. 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 Yeah. Uh, sí. Hola. He's a pedal like EDP. <laughs> Fucking EDP. <laughs> Cupcake eating fool. I saw he put a video out recently. I like I saw someone tweeted something about it. He's like he's going for a redemption. It's like, ooh. Yeah, I saw that. I heard he was gonna die soon. Due to like kidney stuff. I did see that though. I saw that floating around on the Twitter. Oh my god. Three friggin'. Finally. I'm surprised he didn't go to jail. Not as bad as, um, what's her name? Colleen Ballinger. What's going on here, Captain DeSanta? The one who sang an apology video on the, on the, and played on the ukulele? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. The Santa Mariconcito, me encontraste algunas chicas. Oh, John, these these aren't good people, my dude. You know it. The two Patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, the Coronel. Fantastic. I love Patriots. Hey, Sergio Marston, you here to fight the war? At least I'll make a Patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santos... Jesus says they should have added all the Sharada activities on this game. Can you elaborate, man? I'm not sure if I understand, like, Sharada activities. I may not... Yeah. Tell me more, man. You'll have the honor of... Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuela. Okay, then. Oh, John, I can't wait till you, uh, turn on these fools. Funny way of showing it. <laughs> the hell? Gringo, ride with us. I don't really want to.
We'll have a little chat in the ride, though. Uh, see, I'm sure their friendship breaks up. I just don't remember how. Just that it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain. I know, right, buddy? a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Diez Coronas. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Why didn't the Santa come with? The Santa. Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important pieces. One thing I do like is the storyline between these like corrupt Mexican generals. Um, like, you know, this guy's running the show, uh, but the, the big general is just a guy that vomits and... Yeah. It's interesting. Oh, it is, man. I've been to Mexico a few times. I spent a couple of months on the border of Brownsville and Matamoras, and that was a that was a half scary place, man, to a a young Canadian guy going around there for the first time. Like I wasn't allowed to really walk anywhere. I mean, I could. They couldn't stop me, but they would drive. The hotel would drive me everywhere. When you see those tents in Mexico, do you mean like flea market tents? Because that's what I remember going down there, going to like big ass flea markets that had food and all sorts of cool stuff. A woman picks up a rifle, a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Those are the rules of war. They ain't my rules. So you would allow a woman to shoot you. That makes you an idiot, not a gentleman. Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Yeah, tents and one room houses, yeah. Oh shit, I should have stayed in the convoy. I made a terrible decision. <laughs> oh, he gone. Nope. The government is a mouthful of shit in Mexico. Uh, yeah, it's... There's so much corruption, man. From what I understand, like, cartels have a significant hold on on so much of it. Love Mexico, love the people. I can completely understand, the, but it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Canadians get killed down there a fair amount. And like, when they get killed down there, it's all cartel-related stuff. Even though they're not, like, involved in any cartel-related stuff, they're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Can I get back on? Can I jump to a wagon from my horse in Red Dead 1? I don't know if I can. I'm getting on this time. I don't even know where they are. Where are these sneaky fools at? I start shooting at them. Do y'all want me to get off the horse and get him? I'm calling my horse so I don't run into any problems in a bit. You know, I'm getting on my horse right now, actually, so I don't lose the wagon.
These guys just give up, did they? Are they just kind of sticking around yelling? Don't wear expensive red shit? No, I thought I'd go down with like a big Taurus t-shirt and like a fanny pack. With money just pouring out of it. I thought that'd be the way to, to do it. And then start calling it Mexico like I'm Peggy Hill. That would lend a lot of success, I think. <laughs> It's so cool to come here in Red Dead 1 because, man, it lo looks so much nicer in Red Dead 1. That looks cool, the Vista and stuff. Who are they talking to? <laughs> Peggy Hill would. She would get kidnapped. She'd be like, I know the people, I know the culture, I'll be fine. Let's go. I'm pumped for King of the Hill to come back, though. I'm so pumped. And if I understand, the characters are all going to be older. Is Bobby going to be just like Hank? Like, that would be a shift. That's my purse. I don't know you. Oh, maybe. I mean, if she's got to be in the show. They most of them got to be in the show in some way. Khan is a grumpy old man. The redneck family of, of Bobby Hills. Watch him work in propane and propane accessories. Soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, Gringo. Just do as I say. Vamos, mante ante alerta. Take your position now. I hope you know how to use that gun. Can't be that hard. Just point, and pull the trigger. Stop. Can I shoot their hats off? So it's got it's got 360. Okay. I've used one of these before. This is pretty cool. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have already been ambushed. Our squad is made up of new recruits and the two men that Santa hates the most. I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself. Uh, hopefully they're all still alive, or supposed to be. Watch P Bill just be killing him. He got himself a hot wife, rich, an executive. Not just married, he has like hot wife. Got himself a baddie. This gun's pretty cool. It would just be so anti what Bill actually <laughs> accomplishes. This old Gatling gun does some damage. Well, this is good fun. Oh, they're 
going after the engine. Oh, nice. Twofer. Is there one on the train? Your uncle's like daily doesn't trust any government people. He's a paranoid redneck. Yeah, I met a couple of them down in my time in the South. I met some, you know, good people, some crazy ass people. Get out of there. Oh, there's like three or four of them upcoming. Steady. I mean, if I get their horses too, I, I'm, I'm fine. Oh yeah, he, he's uh, got it pretty locked down. Okay, they jump right on. Yeah, there's a gaggle of them. like most of the rebels. Captain, like you're not paranoid, but someone broke a night friend in her and you light them up like Fourth of July. Yeah, that shit happens in America all the time, man. Break-ins, people shooting people that break in, people that break in doing the shooting. Shit got pauses for for a hot second. I was looking at a place I want. So I moved my mic for a second. I actually want to go shooting here at some point. There's a place up here, because you got to go through all sorts of, like, lo Canada's pretty locked down for that type of shit. So, if I want to go shooting at a range, i got to go take, like, there's a course they do. I think, you know, me and the wife, if we spent, like, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks, we could have a pretty good day to shooting off some assault rifles and, and some other stuff. Again, I've never shot a gun off. I've never shot a real gun off in my life. I've shot, like, paintball, paintball guns, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. I've done a lot of fishing, but I haven't really done any hunting. But there's a place I'm looking at. I want me and the wife to go for a date. Take out a little rage. Shoot some shit. Oh. 
guess we don't have to do all of it again, though. These rebels, though. Come on the train, boys. It's good old time. Your brother-in-law's an ALC. Oh, it's a 50 cal. It's so sick. Nice. America's like the only place I've ever seen, and it's not the only place in the world. I won't say it's the only place I've seen. I saw it in Panama too, because uh, I spent some time down there. But seeing people with like just uh, having a gun right out, like depending on the state, that's wild. I've never seen that in Canada. Like just walking around with a gun in a holster, like it's 1899. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. I feel a lot of sympathy towards people in the military, man, because they're just doing rich people's work, man. They're doing rich people's work. And especially from America, man. I mean, it's one thing to defend your homeland. If someone was attacking America. But so many of the things those poor boys and girls have had to do has been stuff that they shouldn't have to do, you know? It's sad, my dude. I think that's all of it. You do not have far to go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That that's wild. When you say you carry your belt, what do you mean? Is it like a holster? So, can you just go get a gun, Grizzly, in the States? Like, is that, like, or at least in Louisiana? I know the laws were pretty pretty loose when I was there. Do you have to have a license? Until I find a squaler, he's more used to me a lot. No doubt, man. My first night in Louisiana, dude, I almost got mugged. I went to buy a carton of smokes because it was so cheap. And it was, like, 11 o'clock at night, and this guy jumped off his BMX and came running at me. And I got to my car and locked the door just before he started banging on the window. Here we are. Thank God. We are lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. New Orleans can be bad. I never had any problems in New Orleans, but I stuck pretty close to, like, French Quarter to my hotel, you know? Like, I, I'd hit uh, all the bars and get plastered. You have to be open with no felonies to be legal or conceal license to hide. Okay. Senor Marston, thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. Okay. That's wild, man. Like, people lose their shit if you went into Walmart here and someone had, like, a gun on their belt. I don't think... I don't know if there's anywhere in Canada where... Where you carry a gun on your belt. I don't know, though. I don't know. I have to take a look at the firearms laws. I know I've never seen it. What are these guys doing? Okay, so we did that one. Let's head down and do 
this bad boy right here. Hey, puppy! You're a good dog, right? Yeah, man, it's a problem. It is a problem. Like, at least globally, it's looked at as a big problem. Like, if I said objectively, you know, people get so kind of, kind of like, boiled down in the rights and the ease of use. Like, you, you explained to me how easy it was to get a gun. What's to stop people with mental illness or people with ill intentions from doing that, you know? But there is a staggering number of gun deaths in America. Something's wrong there. Something is wrong there. I don't know what it is. I can't solve the problem. But it ain't good. I, and I don't think it's one thing either. I think it's a bunch of things. You should mention it's not that there's too many gun owners in America. Too many with bad, too many guns with bad owners. If it's not the gun, it's the gun handler. Oh yeah, man! It's like it's too deep. So what do you do, right? What's happening? Great and terrible things. It's like a vicious circle, dude. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister. Has what I could see one day, and I don't. When I say one day, man. I don't think it's a year from now. I don't think it's five years from now. I don't even think it's ten years from now. Like, maybe beyond ten years, America goes through major, major gun reforms because they're not going to be able to handle it. It's just, it's getting worse and worse. I don't know. If, man, I'm making statements that I don't have the data to back up. Is it getting worse and worse? I don't know. But I guess the only way I could ever see it changing is with, like, massive reforms that wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, in countries where they've made it more challenging to get guns, or kind of changed, cha like, I'd ha I'm trying to think, like, Australia, there's a whole bunch of examples of where gun deaths go down dramatically. Um, but it's so enshrined in America's rights and amendments, I think, like, the right to bear arms is, is incredibly important to, you know, Americans. And it's like, how are you going to defend yourself against a bad guy with a gun? The first thing comes to be, like, you know, a good guy with a gun. We do not have much time. But, like, at what price are those rights so important? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you think of the parents that have lost kids in school shootings. Because some guy was so easily able to get a gun. And then you get all these groups saying, you know, you guys are idiots. No. No, sorry, parents that lost your kid. So, man, it's it's so tough, man. Yeah, if anyone shows mental problem, they shouldn't be allowed a gun. Absolutely. But it's not even like that, is it? Like, pretty much any, like... And so many of the people that have probably done a lot of these school shootings, what kind of thing would, would have stopped them from getting a gun? Would, would that have? They're just... I don't think there's a... I don't think there's an easy answer. That's intense. Let's see if we can ride it. We'll ride it through. They say background check for mental illness. Absolutely. I'll tell you, man, mental illness. The majority of it is on diagnosis. So how are they going to know, right? It's tough, man. It's tough. If I lived there, I'd probably have one. 
Like, I don't feel like I need one where I'm at. Like, I'll walk to the store at like 10 o'clock at night. And not have like any problems or anything. Don't go around, you can make it. No, what's the matter? Oh shit. Let's get to the road. All of them, near the train track. Head right. We will get back to the main road. Faster, we cannot slow down. Well, ma'am, your horses are tired. Sorry, miss. I thought I could just run them. Yeah, it is, man. I don't think there's any easy answers out there. The like the the one statement that I can't get past is it does. There is a gun problem there. Or like whether it's the users, whether it's the backgrounds. This morning you turned on your news. See, they have a new AI built to help run things around the office. Oh yeah, man. I'm taking a course right now because I've been applying for jobs and I need some additional certifications that'll help me out. And uh, so much AI involved with it, like it's instructional design, so think graphic design, but around teaching and making course content and training and, and, and shit like that. What the fuck's wrong with these horses? Like. AI robots nearly shit yourself. Oh yeah, that shit's gonna get scary, man, pretty quick. Oh dude, the scary thing is it's moving so fast, man. Like I'm not like some kind of crazy man or anything. Um, within the next kind of two to three years, technology's gonna take a pretty wild swing. Oh yeah, Megan, that movie was hilarious. The TikTok dancing and killing robot. We must be careful to avoid the army or they will kill us both. Why your horses follow the road? Will they follow the road if I just do this? A bit different. Oh. We need to go faster. Ma'am. Like turning is just awkward. Like a lot more awkward than Red did uh, too. If you see one next to you in a train station or something, you're ripping it apart, yeah? <laughs> Kill it! Kill it, Grizzly! Yes, buddy. Yeah, that shit's wild. Like, you know, you, you might have a Google Home or an Amazon. That shit's gonna change pretty quick. Oh shit, I have a timer? Oh, come on. I like John's trash talking. Just kick the head off it, man. <laughs> yep. I see more by the train Go to the right. I know we don't have much time, lady. Nice. 
We're not stopping, ma'am. Oh yeah, mess them right up, man. I wouldn't be too keen to see one either. I know Louisiana has some weird laws, man. I know one guy, when I was out playing some pool, he's like, do you know, we still have the death penalty for stealing cattle here. <coughs> John Sands, so ashy like a 30-year smoke. Yeah. Abigail! Oh shit, I'm just gonna run it. Like, these wagons suck. Like, I'm hitting these ring. Oh, well, I have no stamina. <coughs> mwah, mwah. Do I get a decent checkpoint? Probably not. Probably right at the friggin' beginning. Damn it! Okay, let's boogie it. Does it show me where I'm actually going? Let's go before I change my mind. We're not playing around. Smoke a pack a day, yeah. I smoke a little bit. I've been trying to vape for the most part. Rough old habit, though. How much is a pack of cigarettes in Louisiana, Gris? I know when I was down there, it was like three bucks a pack. Two something in some cases. They don't seem to chase me though, which is cool. Or not for long. Six seventy a dollar general. A pack of cigarettes here, man. A twenty pack, because we got twenties and twenty fives is about seventeen or eighteen bucks now. Not mess around. Newports are ten bucks, man. It's cheaper to smoke weed here. Another roadblock, senor. Take a left here. Cielos! I'll kill you. Oh yeah, that almost wiped me. Let's go! Oh yeah, man. A way to make a way to profit on addictions and make poor people even poorer, buddy. We're making somebody rich. Come 
Come on, ma'am. Are they gonna keep following me? No, okay. Look, over there! They are still here! Nice! Third time was the charm, right? Gracias, you hit a bong at your brother's last week and you throw up on his floor because it's been too long? <laughs> for everything. Will I see you when I return? Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then. Maybe. You should get going. Maybe. Travel safely. Oh, she's so happy. Glad we could help her. I love hearing John's English. Hola. Nice. All right. Oh, my fame is getting up there. John McDizzle Marston. Let's uh let's set up camp. Uh, not that one. Your brother was so stoned and pissed. No doubt. <laughs> so uh, now we'll take a look get ourselves to this waypoint. This is such a faster pace, though. Just kind of, boom, travel. You know, Red Dead kind of forces you to do the thing. Yeah, find yourself a good strain, Grizzly. The kind of... Kind of is mellow and, and stuff. It's... Yeah. Cannabis is probably overall healthier. I don't think either of them are great for you than tobacco. Tobacco's only goal is to get you addicted. At least cannabis doesn't have, you know, there could be argued that there's like mental addictions and things like that. But it's not nearly as physically addictive as... As uh, tobacco. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, and he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking. She is weeping I for the country. Where is he being held? Has things going for you and YouTube, Mr. Grizzly, by the way? You got you just about monetize, my man? You definitely have the subscriber numbers, and you got to be getting close in that watch time. I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me. The woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, ma'am. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you're truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We're we taking a wagon, are we, ma'am? Uh, of course we are. Oh, ride shotgun. I like that better. Oh, we're going to the one building that's in Red Dead 2.
we can skip to the destination here. Ain't too much going on there. We are almost there. He is still alive. I feel it. I got some dynamites. We're just good with a good old repeater. What do I have? A Springfield rifle? El Presidio. There it is. You have to find the way in. I'll do my best. There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please... There's Manteca Falls there over there. Everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. Good luck. Ma'am, don't yell. We're trying to be sneaky. Okay, John. Get into this. I only have four bullets to snipe. Should have thought about that. I don't know why I thought that was not in position. Oh, what? Thank you, I needed that. Who the hell is he? Oops. We'll be a little more speedy this time. Where the fuck am I going? Wait, do I have to free him first? I probably should try to free him first. Do I have to snipe him? Can I just go like buck wild? Oh, that guy. See, in Dida, you can only fire like once. You know, a Springfield rifle might be good here for distance. I know there's more of you. Johnny! Johnny boy! Get out of dead eye, buddy. Can we get this guy right up here? Now please come be free, senor. 
We're here for you, Abraham. We have to meet her by the river. Yeah, Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes, such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. We got one, buddy. We got one. It's such a bare bones of this in Red Dead 2. Reyes? Come on. I got the horse, buddy. Do I have to come all the way over to you? Within some proximity? Let's go, my friend, before the army returns. Let's go! Yeah, let's get out of here before the army returns. Sounds like a pretty smooth idea. Luisa sent me. Vamos, let the prisa. The army's coming. We'll get the uh, Winchester out. Carajo, here they come. Yeah, those guys aren't coming after us. Maybe some other ones. I mean, I don't care if they're really dead. Just a little bit disabled, you know. my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. <laughs> How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. <laughs> saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa. My Come God, on. this guy. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You've been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very fun. <laughs> Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about this fucking day. guy. From a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Allende's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. We saw you, Zapaje. Buena suerte, compadre. The Mexico story is so freaking good. Yo, evil, how you doing, my dude? Let's go. Hope you're doing good, my man. We're just in Mexico right now. We were working for the government in Mexico. Oh, shit. <laughs> we just kept riding, man. We just kept riding. Please don't make me do it from the flipping beginning. Like they win, oh, my good. Come on. He didn't want to see Louisa. Come, follow me. I will take you to Louisa. Atlas, look out. Oh, yeah, we missed them this time. Come on. Lurking and working right on, man. Right on. Well, thank you for the lurking in. I hope the working's going good for you. Am I using the rifle? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just in Mexico. We're hopefully getting close to Javier soon. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to ride by Louisa this time.
I'd say go for a swim, John, but he can't do that. Okay, we'll make sure to stop this time. There she is. I remember her now, mi amiga. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oy. The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La Baron de Tuba, bella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. This fucking guy. Puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. That guy. Okay, let's uh, let's get ourselves a camp set up here. Well, we'll uh, go see the Santa. See what's up. He's not going to be too impressed. I feel things are going to go down between the government and the rebels. Okay, let's go see DeSanta. What's your problem, partner? Your milestone. Good news. Good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to. Oh, I gotta turn on my air conditioner. Sorry if you hear a little extra noise. Ooh, it's warm. Look at that ass, huh? What a guy. That's save her for later, or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find, a gringo, who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> DeSanto, I want you to take care of Senor Mar Oh, I'm looking forward to killing DeSanto. Cabron, go! Adelante! Mi amor! Mi amor! The corruption! Come, my friend. It is time to bring these men to justice. Okay, we're gonna go see Javier, I think. Eventually, we're gonna find old Dutch. Can I get the back? Is that shotgun? No, I know it's not shotgun. Oh, thank God for that air conditioner. This is very good news, my friend. And I say the colonel will find this man for you. 
For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, Johnny. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find him? They were captured just outside to Barroso. Every rat must come out of his hole eventually. Being held in the church, a chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You're so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excellent. Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever feels the most, I will give $25. Carlitos, muestra de cómo se hace. Con mucho gusto. Vamos, gringo. Oh, that's kind of cool. Guess it beats getting a real job. You know, if you were less sick of this, people might be more inclined to trust you. Are you married? Or do you rape young girls like your current? No, you can never touch a woman like that. It's not my wife. But for them, it's an honor to please the leader. My wife and child have been taken from. Them. That's why I want I the money, money, sir. Nice. Trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother, or a destructive one. Like my mother, I find it better to avoid them. How many strong men become weak by giving them to temptations of the flesh? Are you ready for them? Pastuca and Isales. Estoy listo, Capitan. Oh, okay. So just make money shooting the birds. To an end. I hope so. You know, I will be sad to see you leave. No, you won't. You have helped many people. Just like Oh, yeah, no one's getting more than me. I'm in a bad place here. One brave man to another. Does your brave colonel ever leave the villa? I haven't seen him anywhere near a fight yet. He's the military commander. Nice. He also governs the province. He must be protected. Get out of harm's way. Abraham Reyes, rebel leader. I hear he rides with his men. And how would you know that? Reyes is a coward, blinded by love for himself. All he does is write songs and poems about winning battles. He's never. Ah, he just won one of not dying. This is kind of cool, though. The little hunting competitions. I can shoot the wings of a fly, See, isn't this fun? Don't you feel more relaxed? Sure. Whatever you say. Well, when you have William Summer in the square. I believe it when I see it. My men have been completely surrounded. There's nothing to worry about. Promise. Like the 20,000 pesos you promised when you right said the you suicide mission with Espinosa? Yes, it has been a busy time for you here in Mexico. What do you mean? I mean, ah, you have ah. built quite a reputation for yourself. Just follow an order, Captain. So many stories of your brave exploits. Your actions will not be forgotten, compadre. Nice. That's gonna be enough of them. Somebody else get the 25 bucks for that last one? Maybe. Here we are. Go, my friend. They're in the church. Now worry. Right behind you. Very reassuring. This is it. Home is good. Why are they in the church? It is a good place as any to such a man. What did you say? Are they armed? Oh, they're prisoners. Uh, I don't think this is the case.
Mr. Maston. <laughs> Gracias. For your service. Nice. Betrayed. <laughs> Betrayed. Levanten esta pizza mierda. Levántalo. Maston. Hey. Maston. You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> oh shit, is it? Hey! Look at me running. Is there uh, stairs over here? I'm guessing there is. <coughs> Bro could come down a little bit and like... Untie me. Get my weapons back, okay. Make a beeline. Oh, I see you one there. Oh, it's gonna be exciting to kill Abraham, Re not Reyes, but the uh. Poke your head up there, buddy. Right up there. We're not aiming at you. We're not aiming at you. Don't just stand there. Kill these trainers. Must I lost. You know what? Let's make our way in. We got anything cool here? So he's gonna be. Man, this game's gonna be good with a remaster. The days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, again they will know justice. My brothers, fight on. In our hearts, we are all free. Let us make it so. 
down with the government. Good job, good job, Mr. Marston. So, who do we got? We got Abraham Reyes. We got Louisa. It's interesting. Mexico's so desolate. Like, compared to Armadillo. I suppose now we got some people playing some... Some poker here. You get some blackjack. Hola. Well, that's a power stance. Oh, you know, we got an outhouse over here. Can I jump over the... No, I can't jump over the walls. Are the dead bodies still all in there? Diablos. Officer, I do apologize. Hey, buscas. Una noche en la cárcel. Muevete. You got anything interesting, friend? You know, let's... Are the the big baddies bodies still up there? If they are, let's go see if they had anything on them. I don't remember if they do. My fault, officer. So what's he have on him? He got six dollars. Okay, this this big super rich general. Let's see what he has. I bet you he didn't have much. Did I actually loot him? Didn't do any sort of animation. What? Who the hell's aware of my crimes? Oh my fucking god. Sorry, mister. The shame, Johnny boy. Jail getting pretty bored for you, John? I don't need that. All right, let's go see Reyes. That was easy. I mean, you can give it to him. No, we'll give it to him. We'll be good. We'll be a good lad. Man, I really want to see this in Red Dead One or Red Dead Two's world, though. <laughs> yeah, he's learned his lesson, son. He's dead. Slow it down, will you? 
Okay, we'll do a little little fast travel. Should be far enough away to set up camp. There we go. But happy Sunday to all. I hope it's going well for you. It's going pretty good for me. I went to a museum today. That shit was crazy. A place that was built in the late 1800s. Or sorry, early 1800s. And it was lived in until like either the late 1800s or the um, early 1900s. It had an old school kitchen with a dumb waiter. The thing like a little elevator thing that the kitchen would pull would uh, bring shit up on. Um, all the original kind of furniture and items that were with the house. It got sold to the province some time ago. And it's all been preserved. It's pretty wild. It was some pretty cool shit to actually see. Let's go see Reyes here. Mr. Rebellious Reyes. That's what he calls himself because he's a rebel, right? I don't know. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Abraham Reyes is actually a pretty hilarious character. They have a lot less cutscenes in Red Dead 1, so they have to tell the story kind of a little snappier. There's a lot less time for reflection and such. There is still cutscenes and conversations, like we're seeing now. Like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. Also, you like every politician I, ever, right? I know these people. I know these lands. But he's better than the other dudes, though. I'll say that. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you. Don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant nice. work. All in a good cause, of course. Such a different game than Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm looking forward to what they do with it. What and if it happens, right? We're coming there, buddy. It feels like so much of the story does take place in Mexico. It's got to be about half of it. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? <laughs> exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Poor John. I'm not sure exactly where they are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. Old American Venom John. So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. 
We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary. I don't know what that last line though, like. He saw that the system of power was rotten. Did they give it to people that needed it more? I didn't get Robin Hood vibes from him. Change can only succeed. Everything else, yeah. And relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? hermano. <laughs> <laughs> That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and the great deeds. There are over a hundred written. Oh, he's got all the poems written about him. Stay away from men with guitar. Oh, watch what you're writing. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. Hey, he brings up a good point. I know. I've seen your poster. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio. How I fought off a thousand He did all by himself. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Oh, we got the train in Mexico. He's like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific Jesus. Jesus. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America, they told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. Not far now. But also it's just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's will we rob a train? So important. I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there. But look at Ajo, cuidado, John. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. We're gonna mess him up. Oh, Sunday, Sunday, Sundays. Happy Sunday to you, and I hope it's going well. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need. But it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Sounds easy, right? But listen, we've got to get this done before the train runs out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? <laughs> there are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can nice. use it to kill the guards quietly. <clears throat> Wait until I distract them. <coughs> so they don't use the dynamite. The can, John. Wait here while I create a distraction. So throwing knives. Sneaky sneak sneaks. Where is he? Is there one I'm missing though? Oh 
Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. So many of them. If John could do this, he could fight off a whole bunch of them coming into his ranch. You know, since we're all out here now... Shit, let's get ourselves back over here. <laughs> You're going to it, no, not there. My and I'm gonna come out after me though. It's weird how kinda this is why it needs a remaster, because it feels kinda kinda wacky, but we'll get the old shit double barreled out. This okay, so I gotta disconnect these cars. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I could have just went there and figured out how poorly that would have went. Okay, we're gonna sneak onto the train. We're gonna throw a knife at. This cat right here. Oh, that was much easier. Yeah, this game needs a remake. Well, we're not going to feel the wrath of the Mexican army coming down on us. Which is good news. That's good news. Chugga, 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 chugga. Yes, man. Oh. Get that man off the gambling gun. Oh shit, coming from the side? Where are they coming from?
Maybe I have to get out and go after him. Where's that guy right there? There's another one over here. I know there is. What is he doing? Nice. Steely, steely. Good job, John. Yeah. Reyes is a happy man right now. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. I'll say the race is better than the alternatives. I'm down for playing some dynamite. So it's like from up top? Uh, I get them. I get them. You know what's so much better in Red Dead 1 than Red Dead 2? John's gloves. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, let's see what's in there. There's a man in there? Oh, Lord. Oh, we got a safe. Bunch of shit we can't take. Or maybe it is. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm getting it from those cats. But there's a safe down here. Nice. You don't want to go too far. And back to the right. John, it's like you've done that before. Stealing mail is a federal offense, John. What did we get there? We got a new gun, too? What was the gun I got? Or was it just the ammo that I got? I don't know. I had a cattleman already. And I had a Schofield already. Pull my gun out of Reyes here. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. 
All in good time, I mean. Man, John, you're getting so I'm strung along here, buddy. I see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. John's got some more fame. Look at that honor go. Is the train all... Is the... Can I just take it for and drive it? I don't remember if you can do that in Red Dead 1. Man, no, there is trains all over the place. No, it doesn't look like I can take it. That's okay. I think we're at a good spot to stop. I'm going to get a snack. Thanks for hanging out, though, to, to play some Red Dead 2. We haven't got Javier yet, but we're coming close. We're coming close. We'll try. We'll be doing some more streaming probably tomorrow. I've got an interview on Tuesday. I'm doing some course stuff for a certification I'm taking tomorrow. But outside of that, I'll probably be playing some more of this. We'll see what's up. Anyways, have a good one. And thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.